your girl Jazzy and I'm gonna do something different I'm going to switch tomorrow and today's videos because today is supposed to be haul days but the things that I have to haul aren't in my possession right now because Blake has them so I will do that tomorrow and today I will be doing to fail and not to fail Friday so just act like it's an early Friday and we'll be good so Today I'm going to be doing a marble nail decal. I watched tutorials on this, but this is my first time, so I don't know if I'm going to fail or not. The materials needed are some tape, regular scotch tape, um, like a little cuticle stick, um, tweezers, um, and a container of water. Now. I don't think that they specify whether it has to be cold, hot, what have you, but uh, yeah. So the first thing that they said to do was tape your finger um, around your nail so you don't get the polish anywhere other than on your nail. The next step is to add the fingernail polishes into this. Um, I chose blue and purple and i also chose red and black so you can have some light colors versus some dark colors and i'm not doing it in any particular pattern it's just going to uh be like so so i'm just gonna drop it in the water drop in the water it doesn't want to drop in the Does it not want to drop in the water? Okay. Having technical difficulties already, I see. So I'm just gonna pour a tiny bit onto the um, water here. Um, there we go, so. I, they suggest you use this stick so um, you can swirl it around and make details with it so um, I don't really want to move that but as you can see that's what it looks like in there so I'm just gonna kind of swirl it maybe it'll get cute if I swirled it I actually do like the contrast between the red and black. That actually does look nice. So, um, so now I just put my finger in and hope for the best. So, I'm putting my finger in, and they said to, um, swirl the nail polish around your finger so you can get it all in. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting it all around. Okay, the, um, the, your stick is going to look like that. It's going to kind of be destroyed. We can clean up that later. So, um, I'm going to put that over there. And now the, um, purpose of the tweezers is supposed to be to pull the, um, tape off 
which I don't know how well that's gonna work. I don't remember exactly which pieces of tape I put where and and why. So of course since it's not completely dry, it seeps through some. Um you know what? It doesn't look too bad. If it would have had a better pattern, I say I would have definitely liked it. Um, this is what it turned out to look like. And I would have to say it's not too bad. Like I said, if it would have had some more pattern, it would have definitely been better. I think I'm going to try this again and add way more red and black than what I did. Okay, guys. Um, so I did the other nail and it actually came out really cute. I um it came out somewhat like a heart, like if you can see it. It's like the heart lines going up at the top I like it I think it's really cute um this I would have to say is um it is a success it takes a lot of practice I can tell because you gotta work with certain nail polishes and everything like that I uh did this one where it was just kind of like whatever not really a pattern or anything like that this one I tried like more pattern and it did come out way better. So like I said, I do think that it was um, a success. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this to fail or not to fail Friday. Comment below what you think it was. Comment if you have any suggestions for me to do next Friday. Like subscribe. I love you guys. I hope you guys love me. Deuces!